Good evening and welcome to the inaugural Unite for Women with Cancer. We are honored to have you with us tonight in celebration of 35 years of the Women's Cancer Resource Center. I'm your host and nine times swim a miler, Kathleen Antonia. A reminder for the best viewing experience tonight, please make sure you are in speaker view, full screen. When I first found the Women's Cancer Resource Center, I was looking for a project that I could get behind that involved swimming and fundraising for a good cause. That was the dream, and I wasn't sure I was gonna find it, but WCRC's Swim a Mile was perfect. I get to be in the water and support an organization that is particularly meaningful to me. Many women in my life, both friends and family, have lived with cancer. What helped all of them thrive during treatments and surgeries and side effects and more was community. People supporting them in nutrition, exercise, budgeting, hobbies, sharing their feelings and experiences, recommendations and pointers. The Women's Cancer Resource Center offers this support for people who may not have that community or who want more of that community. Crucially important to achieving optimal health for women with cancer. So I jumped in the water, in costume, might I add, and swam a mile in formal wear, as a robot, as the crocodile from Peter Pan, as Mrs. Incredible, and let me tell you, that was such a workout since it was like pulling a parachute through the water. And for last fall's move a mile on the rowing erg as the Invisible Man. Well, you wanna see my costume? It really is the most fun to be had, helping to keep WCRC's incredible programs going for another 35 years. So join me in the water this fall. Meanwhile, thank you for giving us an hour of your time to hear about WCRC's mission to improve equitable access to cancer information, support, and care. Tonight, you have already seen some of the memorable moments of WCRC's 35 years of mission delivery. We will continue to celebrate this special Jade anniversary while we also hear directly from women whose cancer journeys led them to the services of WCRC. And we will bestow our 2021 Health Equity Awards on our community, compassion, and change honorees. This is also a fundraiser for WCRC as well as a celebration. So there will be many opportunities for you to give during our program. On that note, I would like to introduce you to my partner for this evening, the amazing TK. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm TK, and I'm so delighted to be here with you tonight. I want to make sure that everyone understands that we are going to have an amazing evening and that you know how to participate during tonight's event. We're asking that you text to give if you'd like to make a donation in support of WCRC's free programs, or if you want to participate in tonight's funding need, have your mobile device ready to go. Mm -hmm. So pick it on up and be ready to text over Unite for WCRC, and that's Unite for the number for WCRC, all one word, along with your do desired donation amount and name to the number 41444. We like the number four here. Again, 41444. It's that easy. The slides are going to show you exactly how to do that because tonight is all about making a huge impact that outlasts us all. So don't worry about making your payment this evening because the most important thing of the night is that you participate and that you're here in giving with wild abandon. We'll be following up with you tomorrow. You'll also receive automatic reminders from our payment processor, mobile cause. So if you're having any trouble at all making a pledge using text to give, let us know in the chat. We have some amazing people standing by to chat it up with you. So if you have any questions, you want to celebrate, use the chat to do just that. So now, Kathleen, what's up next? Thank you so much, TK. Thank you so much for walking us through how to make a donation to WCRC tonight. And thank you for giving. Made easy through our text to give option. You will notice a change in my heart, uh, something that's coming for every fundraising milestone. So thank you for this first one, because it looks like some of our wonderful supporters are already giving. That's right, Kathleen. We already have donations coming in, and I'm so excited about it. We have $600 coming in from Lynn Richards, so thank you, Lynn, and $500 from Francis Hartwell. We are going to keep celebrating those people as they come in, so give big, keep it up. This is how we start the night off strong, and we thank you so much for your incredible support, and you get cowbell. Who doesn't love cowbell? 
That's right. You get wigs and cowbell. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the generosity. I mean, it is a wonderful start tonight for the goal of raising $100,000. TK will be back with more opportunities for you to support the next 35 years of free programs and services for women with cancer. So keep your phones handy. I would now like to introduce Amy Alanis, WCRC's Executive Director. Thank you, TK and Kathleen. I am honored to be with you all tonight as we celebrate Women Cancer Resource Center's 35th anniversary and honor three extraordinary individuals who have been an instrumental part of our journey. You will also meet three clients who have beautiful stories to share with us and whom WCRC has been really honored to help. It's been quite a year for all of us and especially for our clients as we have navigated this pandemic. Because of you, our generous supporters, we were able to move all of our programs and services into a virtual platform and we have continued to serve our clients in deep and meaningful ways. We have even seen our programs grow, including our free therapy services and our support groups. I have worked in the nonprofit sector for more than 25 years, and I am certain that we have the most incredible donors, loyal, compassionate, and committed to advancing health equity with us. Thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. There are others I would like to thank this evening, Jackie Winnow and our other founders, a dynamic group of women with a vision to fill an unmet need in our community. Our board of directors, a group, a group of brilliant and generous people who dedicate their time and resources to lead us and help set the direction for our organization. Our staff team, we are fortunate to have a highly skilled, diverse staff that works tirelessly to ensure that our clients' needs are met. Our volunteers, we have more than 200 active volunteers each year and they are extremely generous with their time and skills. Our Unite Event Committee, a small yet mighty group of women who committed their evenings and weekends to us during the past three months to help us launch this event for you tonight. Penny Hudis, our event chair, Anne, Clara, Cynthia, Dar, Joy, Marsha, Ming, and Wendy. It has been wonderful to work with each of you. I also want to thank Ming Ritchie and Clara Painter who are volunteering their time tonight to produce this event for us. Ming has been instrumental in helping us understand the use of technology to deliver our first ever live virtual fundraising event. Earlier this year, WCRC brought on Ann Brown to work as our development associate. Ann dove right in to help us plan Unite and was my right hand through all of this planning. She is so talented and we are ever so grateful that she has joined our team. Thank you so much, Anne. We are extraordinarily grateful for all of our event sponsors. We have some wonderful new companies supporting us for the first time, and we are grateful to have their support as we unite for women with cancer. It is an honor to partner with these corporations and small businesses in service of our mission. We would also like to thank our media sponsor, the Oakland Post, for helping us share our mission with its supporters and our broader community. And Ray of Futanmila Media for creating our honoree and client videos tonight. And a big, huge thank you to our host, Kathleen Antonia and our fundraising leader, TK, for being a part of our very special evening. Thank you so much, Amy, and thank all of you. Uh, now let's meet our first of tonight's Health Equity Award winners. Each of our award winners has shown a dedication to improving access to cancer information, support, and care for women and LGBTQIA folk who often do not receive the kind of consideration they need through current systems of care. The first of our honorees oversaw making health equity a pillar of WCRC values. In her 12 years as executive director of the Women's Cancer Resource Center, Peggy McGuire strove to advance cultural humility and WCRC values and practice and secured new funding sources for WCRC, allowing the multicultural patient navigation program, Latina services, and sister to sister programs to thrive. These programs have served thousands of clients across Alameda and Contra Costa counties. 
with great honor, we present the 2021 Health Equity Change Award to Peggy McGuire. If I were to sum up how personally I'm affected, Peggy, by you, is to say that you always demonstrated that service level doesn't really matter whether you're volunteering day to day, whether you're providing phone calls or answering the phone at WCRC, or whether you're serving as a community health advocate, as a board member, or someone who simply makes, not simply, but makes a financial contribution. What matters is that you're there to serve. And sometimes unbeknownst to us, we are change agents. One of the major accomplishments for WCRC was a brand identity change, which was guided by the goals of the then strategic plan, which Peggy had the foresight to comprise a special team of contributors to pull off this project. Some people probably have never known or will never know, but I know the personal sacrifices that you made with your time, your energy, your vision, financially, your support, to WCRC, particularly at times where it was needed, far beyond what I would imagine anyone doing as an executive director. We came up with the, a beautiful rendering of a very intentional, organic, and deeply symbolic logo that incorporated the concentric circles for change, community, and compassion unanimously. The term change just entered into our energy and there we had it unforced it was it fit like a smooth puzzle piece and we knew we had the new logo for wcrc all guided by the wonderful insight and leadership of peggy mcguire my friend congratulations pegs and may your latter days be greater than the days behind you thanks peggy I, takes, it's going to take me a moment to catch my breath. That was wonderful. I am so happy to be a part of this wide and vibrant circle of community compassion and the women, the WCRC Board of Directors over the five years. You are so much more than volunteers. You are stewards and trustees of community compassion and change. And my deepest gratitude goes to Penny Hudis, Amy Alanese, and WCRC's wonderful staff for seizing my warm handoff and lifting WCRC to its next most impactful era. I wish you clarity of purpose, abundant funding, profound systems change, and well-earned personal satisfaction from your efforts. But most of all, I wish you good trouble as you challenge and change the inequities in our healthcare system and beyond. I love you all. Congratulations and thank you. Our next health equity honoree knows very well what good trouble is as WCRC's first program director. While at the Women's Cancer Resource Center, Cassandra Falby worked to expand WCRC's community presence through collaboration with healthcare providers and other community partners like Zero Breast Cancer, Kaiser Permanente, and Pacific Center for Human Growth. Cassandra brought the relational style to WCRC, which enhanced its culture and programs. They also led efforts to organize WCRC's Latina Wellness Gathering, an annual conference for Spanish-speaking women living with cancer. We present the 2021 Health Equity Compassion Award to Cassandra Bulby. WCRC is the most mission-driven organization I've ever been involved with. And Cassandra, is an embodiment of the mission. She takes in the person as a whole, very empathic, very able to stop, listen, take in, stay quiet, 
be very present and then speak. Cassandra and I recognized the benefit that healing circles could offer the center. And before I knew it, she had pursued and received a grant from Commonweal. And we were able to provide this new program to the cancer community. What was really apparent and so important and touching to me was that her compassion was not only for the client, it was for me. She was very clear that uh, she was there for me and that she was there to support me and that whenever I was feeling out of my depth, I should just come and ask her advice. That giving of not just the practical, not just the referrals, but the emotional presence. And Cassandra embodies that. I am excited for Cassandra as the recipient of the Compassion Award she so deserves. Aside from her role of, at work at WCRC, she's an amazing, caring human being, and I'm proud to be associated with her and to have worked with her over the past few years. She was always there to support and hold me and all the other volunteers. Cassandra's just a champion and, and a wonderful person. Oh, wow, that's that's really sweet, y'all. That's so wonderful. Um, well, anyway, I wanna thank you for this award. It means so much to be named as an honoree and the feeling's even more sweet because the recognition is coming from WCRC. Um, I thought about uh, saying some words in song, uh, but I'm a psychotherapist and I promised that I would do no harm. So I won't sing tonight. I won't do any of that. I'll just share my words in a more traditional way. So over the past 35 years, you know, uh, WCRC has just supported so many women and others uh, with cancer in innumerable ways. And during my six years as program director, it was a privilege to be a part of that effort. And I learned so much. And I just wanna share a couple of reflections with you. Uh, one thing that I learned and took away is that I was able to be part of change-making organizations leadership history and really understanding what it means to be a part of that and as it relates to WCRC. So I get to actually say that and that's pretty exciting and I'm proud of that. And also I have learned about that WCRC really has true legacy work, like the way it can impact a community, change a community, change an individual's life and then they can also do the same for others. So that is something that is, is a ripple effect. It's a wonderful ripple effect and it's really incredible. And finally, just that not everyone gets to be seen and heard and WCRC's effort really does that. And especially when folks are ill, especially when they feel silent, WCRC really tries to lift the voices of those who want to be seen and heard. Um, and you're creating opportunities for community healing, WCRC, so thank you. Um, in closing, I just wanna thank the, the staff, the board, the volunteers, the support group facilitators, workshop facilitators. Um, we've really shared so much and I've shared so much with you during my time there. And if I had more time, I'd name each of you. Uh, perhaps I'll include you in my next song. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, just know that I'm cheering you all on. Go WCRC, go. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much and congratulations. Yes, go and go to all of our supporters. Yes, we have reached another hair milestone. I don't know, are we gonna run out of these? Uh, you're so generous, thank you. And thank you, Peggy and Cassandra for your dedication to ensuring women with cancer have access to resources and support. WCRC gives more, uh, serves more than 2000 people each year and we were able to do this because of the generosity of supporters like you, our funders, and our community. WCRC staff have long observed that cancer is often not the only concern for the low income and marginalized individuals in our client population. Limited access to primary health care, inadequate health services and financial resources, language and cultural barriers, racism, fear, and a mistrust of medical systems contribute to late diagnosis and earlier death. 
especially for African and Native American, uh, Latinx, and all other groups of low-income women diagnosed with cancer. WCRC provides a set of comprehensive, coordinated services that include cancer navigation, peer support, information and referral, and wellness programs to mitigate these challenges for people with limited access to essential life-giving care. Clients are at the very heart of WCRC's mission. And I was personally very moved by Vanessa Rosalba's cancer and, and Rosalba's cancer journey. And we're grateful to Vanessa and Rosalba for generously sharing their path to WCRC with us tonight. My name is Vanessa Panella. I am 29 years old. My name is Rosalba Ponce and I'm the mother of Vanessa. My mom takes care of me. And Vanessa was born premature de, de 21 weeks. She won a libra with 4 onzas. And she stuvo 6 months in the hospital. And she came to the house and then I tuve que este cuidarla de, de todo pues eh, ella los, eh, se enfermaba seguido tenía que estar en el hospital cuando empezó con este problema eh, ella empezó con esa bolita en el seno entonces eh, como iba creciendo este pues yo le dije a la doctora que que quería que hicieran un estudio más profundo porque ella le estaba creciendo pasaron con otro doctor que fue el que ya me dijo que que era cáncer, entonces para mí pues fue muy, cuando le dicen a uno esa palabra, pues este, pues es muy triste y muy, yo digo, ah, oh, pues cáncer. I feel nervous and sad when they told me that I had cancer. Yes, I didn't understand what the doctor was saying to me and I was hard for me to explain to them what did they say to me. Pues las, Pues fue, para mí fue difícil porque no había quien me interpretara. Entonces a Vanessa pues siempre hablaban con ella y pues ella me estaba diciendo, pero a veces no sabía qué decir. Y ahí la trabajadora social de, me mandó a estos programas que estamos viendo ahorita, que es uh, fue para mujeres con cáncer, que a nosotros nos ha ayudado mucho. A Vanessa es... Ella le fascina ir ahí a ese programa. Cuando convivimos ahí con las personas, y pues es un gran apoyo para nosotros. Y ahora este, que estamos aquí en este programa y con ustedes, este, pues gracias a Dios, pues tú vas, vas siempre con nosotros a, entre, y me interpretas. Entonces, por eso también estoy muy agradecida por, por este programa también una ayuda financiera y este y pues nos ayudó mucho porque en ese momento pues estábamos un poco que no teníamos fondos entonces pues eh, nos sirvió mucho lo que recibimos eh, y este pues yo estoy muy agradecida con ese programa y, y, y yo este les pues quiero dar también las gracias a las personas de corazón a las personas que que dan su donación a estos programas porque pues sí hace mucha falta este, estos programas. A mí me ha ayudado mucho y a Vanessa también. I'm grateful to have in the center to help me a lot. Gracias Vanessa y Rosalba por competir con nosotros esta noche. Nos complace que el navegador de pacientes de la WCRC lo haya ayudado a comunicarse de manera efectiva con su equipo médico y más. I want to thank Vanessa and Rosalba for sharing with us tonight. We're so glad that the WCRC patient navigator helped you communicate effectively with your medical team, that you received an emergency financial assistance grant to assist you with food and other support, and that you can attend ongoing wellness workshops, including the art classes that Vanessa loves so much. I want you all to take a moment as we look at the story of Vanessa and Rosalba and think about what it looks like to live life with different and unique challenges already, but then to have to find a place that can also serve you and not just serve you, but serve you in a way that supports where you are culturally.
that make sure that your mother, who is your caregiver, can provide and have the tools needed to give you the support that you need. You know what this place is? It's WCRC. WCRC serves more than 2,000 people each year. And I would like to invite you to support clients like Vanessa and Rosalba by making a generous gift this evening because what's happened has been possible because of donors like you. We're going to begin with gifts of $5,000, $2,500, $1,000, and we have options because all dollars create an impact. We only ask that you give from the abundance of your heart, that the gift that you choose tonight you don't give because it was an easy choice. I want you to dig a little bit deep and say, I am making a life-changing difference. For example, let me tell you what your gift of $5,000 could do. At $5,000, you could fund six patient navigators for one of our clients. And you've heard exactly how important that was for Vanessa and Rosalba. Don't you wanna be the conduit to making that change? I know you do. Simply make a gift of $5,000. The information is in the chat. All you have to do is text it in and they'll take care of you from there. Let me give you an example of what your funds for $2,500 could do. It could give three months of support groups. And I want you to think about the importance of a support group. Yes, we can all be strong for our family. And yes, we absolutely want to be the person that they turn to when they have a need. But the fact is, we don't know what they're going through and we can't take that journey with them. And they need peers who know where they are or where they've been once they win this fight. They need to rebuild life as they know it and life as they want it to be. And those support groups are how that happens. And you can be the person that makes that possible. This is all about possibilities. $2,500 for three months. Think about the power of that gift. I want to tell you all that this night has already been generous and I'm going to come in in just a moment and share some of the generosity that we've had. But before I do, I want to share with you that we have a longtime WCRC supporter, the Barlow family. They have offered to match up to $10,000 of fund and need donations tonight. So you have an opportunity to not just make an impact, but to double that impact to WRC tonight. So thank you to Rose, Chris, Rachel, and Hannah for your tremendous support. You are helping us make an incredible impact. So the next giving opportunity that I want to share with you and keep again that $10,000 match in mind, it's $1,000. And your gift of $1,000 funds six months of free therapy services for people with cancer and their caregivers. And again, this is one of those moments where it's like, but I'm the caregiver, right? but you two need a break. Not only are you dealing with life and the things that you had before cancer became a daily life moment, you're also having to be strong and balanced. Caregivers are integral, not just to you, but the time that you need to be recharged and be strong for your loved one. This is when we need you to come in and say that we can have someone else come in and provide care for the ones we love the most. Because we want to be all things but the fact is, you also have to balance, and that is so important. So take this time to recharge and help make that possible for six months with a gift of $1,000. Think about how scary the journey is for the families, and many times the caregivers are the conduit to healing while also keeping the family unit strong, and you can be the person that makes that possible. So as you all contemplate your giving levels, and just so you know, we do have some more coming up, but again, we want you to give from abundance. I'm going to tell you what we have so far and get excited about what we've done here. So, so far we've had a gift come in from Emily Rosenberg and we wanna say thank you so much, Emily Rosenberg for your gift at $2,500. Heather Phil coming in with a gift of $1,000. So thank you to Emily and Heather. You all are helping us hit that match. So we're at $3,500 and that means we have $6,500 to go, but do not fret. We still have more levels coming up. And if you all get moved as you watch these videos, we want you to take this journey with us and give from where you feel the most movement in your heart, where you feel the most inspired to create possibilities. So I wanna thank you again for what you've done already and be prepared to learn more and be inspired to continue your generosity. 
I'll be back a little bit later to tell you more, but until then, let's head over to Kathleen to tell you more about another client's journey in WCRC as she also celebrates in another incredible community leader. Kathleen, back to you. Thank you so much, TK. And thank you, everyone. Yes, we need more wigs and more cowbell. Thank you for your generosity. It's been wonderful. Um, though we are in virtual space, you may know that in 2015, the WCRC Board of Directors made the decision to invest in the future of the Women's Cancer Resource Center by purchasing our current location on Ellsworth Street, a return to our roots 35 years ago in Berkeley. The board launched a capital campaign to pay for the extensive needed renovations. Ira Fink, an esteemed local architect and community planner and spouse of Penny Hudis, board chair and then interim executive director, was enlisted as the operations manager for the project. In this volunteer role, Ira leveraged all of his community and professional resources to secure donated labor and materials and was able to realize deep cost savings for WCRC. His hands-on approach, daily work on the site, and commitment to our mission enabled us to dream big to create a beautiful, safe, and serene center for all of our community. WCRC completed the construction project and received a city approval for occupancy in November 2017. During the same month, Ira was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and began his treatment. Ira continued to be very engaged as a facility volunteer, ensuring that our reopening and months following were seamless. He did all this while undergoing chemotherapy for his cancer. Ira died of cancer in May, 2019. WCRC is deeply grateful for the many contributions that Ira made to ensure our community center. And this evening, we are honored to present Dr. Kim Rhodes with WCRC's first Ira Fink Community Health Equity Award. In Dr. Rhodes, the Cancer Center is incredibly fortunate to have a knowledgeable and visionary uh, leader of our Office of Community Engagement. She has spent the last 25 years training, working and established standards in the field of health equity. And in her time at UCSF, she's broadened and deepened UCSF relationships in underserved communities throughout the Bay Area. I refer to her as Special K because she's very special. She understands who she is. She understands community and the role of, of community. She understands this come unity. The notion of unifying people that creates community. Dr. Rhodes developed a quarterly series through the UCSF Community Advisory Board, which has given our clients the opportunity to hear from researchers on various topics related to cancers and COVID and ask questions and most importantly, provide feedback. Because of her vision and leadership, our clients feel seen and heard within a very large system of care. One of Dr. Rhodes' most valuable qualities is her willingness to tell everyone in power what we can do better and why. And one of the key elements of that is listening to the community. Dr. Rhodes, I'm so proud of you and the work you've done, the commitment. Many people have benefited from your commitment to serve. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And a big hug and mwah, love you. Kim, congratulations on this much deserved honor from the Women's Cancer Research Center. And thank you for your leadership and wisdom that you bring to the Cancer Center and the help that you give me personally. We are delighted to present you with the WCRC Community Award this evening, Dr. Rhodes. I am deeply inspired by your passion and commitment to our community. You are brilliant, honest, and kind, and we are honored to be able to work with you to improve the lives of those that we serve. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> um, I apologize for my lighting changing, um, but I just want to thank uh, Amy for honoring me with this award and um, to Penny for agreeing that I would be worthy to receive an award named um, in honor of her late husband. This award is really meaningful to me in so many different ways. First, it marked nearly 28 years since I had my first interaction with WCRC. Um, as a medical student, I was working for then Assembly Barbara Lee's office 
And I uh, ended up working very closely with the then executive director, Diane Estrin, to host a community forum for African-American women in Oakland called New Designs for Breast Health. What a pleasure that my career path has brought me full circle to working with Penny when she was the executive director and now with Amy as active and engaged members of our UCSF Helen Family Comprehensive Cancer Center Community Advisory Board. Second, the award is super meaningful because Dr. Ira Fink was an architect and a builder. He brought together the designers and the visionary leaders to create many structures, as you just heard. But in addition to that, two structures, the Ross Cherry Creek Library and the Stapleton Air Traffic Control Tower, which still stand today in Denver, Colorado. Building requires creativity and vision and a dedication to seeing how the new structure can come to fruition and have impact on everything around it. And so I'm really proud to be recognized in honor of a builder. I'm not building physical structures, but in my community engagement work, I'm trying to operationalize my vision for how academic institutions can partner with community to build systems that value health, public health, health equity, and community wellness. These new systems are not punctuated with technology, but instead are populated by people. And the strength and the resiliency of the system relies on the relationships and connections between them. My vision includes a social safety net that's formed by the interdependence between us, an interdependence that holds us and provides comfort as we journey through both illness. Finally, on a personal note, I did have the incredible opportunity to provide some support to Penny and Ira during their cancer journey. As a student, I had this idea that I would not actually practice medicine, but would just infiltrate the system, learn as much as I could about it, and then share the secrets with regular people. And I'm sorry, I'm fine, but... But I wanted to share the secrets with people to help them navigate systems that are often inaccessible, right? In the vulnerable moments when access is what is needed the most. So I'm really blessed that I get to work in a role where my job is exactly to do what I thought I was gonna be doing in school. Supporting Penny as much as I could during that important time was an opportunity to put my vision for how community connections, sharing of collective knowledge and resources form the foundation of a new system of care. I'm always grateful for these opportunities because they validate my original plan and remind me that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be doing the work I was meant to do. So with that, I just wanna thank WCRC again, appreciate my supporters and friends as well as family who have joined us here tonight in celebration. And I look forward to another 35 years of collaborative work with the Women's Cancer Resource Center. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rhodes. And you were so moved. And that just tells us that the work that happens at WCRC is real work. The clients, the community and the staff and the team at WCRC appreciates you and we thank you also. We've been able to honor three extraordinary individuals tonight. And I know that I've been inspired by the outpouring of love and gratitude that's been expressed. And we also know that you've been moved and excited by it as well. So much so that we've already hit our $10,000 because, you know, always more capital. So let's give a big thank you to $2,500 from Rod Nichols. Thank you, Rod, coming in with your gift. And thank you, $4,000 from Amy Alanese. Thank you so much, Amy, for your gift. And thank you all for making it possible for us to hit the match. But please know that we are not done yet. We've raised $20,000 thus far, but we still have more to go. We are here to create a lifelong impact. This is legacy. This is life-saving, life-changing work that's happening here. So now, while you all stew with that, it is now time for us to have a live auction. And you know, we have this money fan because there's nothing like spending money on something and doing good work at the same time. So one of you lucky supporters are going to win a chance to stay in a beautiful cabin near the Russian River. We're going to open up this bidding and the highest bidder will win this experience. So typical auction style, but we just won't do any of the fast talking and we're going to do it through chat. So get your chat screens open. 
We're going to start the bidding at $500 and you can bid however much you like. If you see in the chat, there's someone in there named PK and someone in there named Sandy, and they say WCRC as well. They're going to take care of you in the bidding process and let me know who's winning. And then once we're done and the bidding slows down, we are going to sell it to the highest bidder. So keep an eye on the chat as I tell you more about this beautiful Russian river and also eyes on the screen so you can see how amazing this cabin is. Let's go. So it's a four night stay at a cleanly styled riverfront home with a hot tub and dining on a private tree line deck. That's right, dinner in the hot tub on the deck, why not? It has a spacious open four floor plan with beach access so you can dip your toes in the sand, play with the seashells, whatever your heart desires. And it's just a short walk from the house to make it even better. You can also take advantage of the kayak that's provided. So get out there and put those arms and shoulders to work as you have a good time. It's also just a short drive to downtown Greenville and wine tasting, golf, hiking, redwoods and the stunning California coast. This is three bedrooms, it sleeps eight people. So keep that in mind because that means that you can take a few of your friends or your family members, but I'm all for friends and leaving the kids at home. You know, that's fine. You'll have, you'll have your well-behaved dog with you if you like. That's right. Your dog is welcome. So I know that that's a game changer for many of you. And when I tell you that they're welcome, like they're super welcome. This is totally dog friendly and they're absolutely going to love the beach, especially gallivanting around. It has off-street parking, it has a garage, keyless entry, and if you're like me, that's going to be a lifesaver because I don't ever know where the keys are. It has central heat and air, gas fireplace, Wi-Fi, cable TV, and landline as well. So if you want to work from home, but at this beautiful cabin by the beach, this is your chance to do so. So let's see where the bidding's going. We have it opening up at $500, and let's see where we are. And so... We have someone coming in at 500. Peter Sun, thank you so much at $500. Now, who's going to take it away? Oh, Alyssa Friedman at $1,000. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Kim took you out, though, at $1,050. Now, do we have someone coming in higher? Susan's coming in at $1,100. Susan, thank you so much for your $1,100. $1,150 at Heather. Heather wants this getaway. Who's next? Oh, $1,200. Kim Rhodes taking it away at $1,200. Who's going to take it away from Kim? Come back on in, Heather. Come back in and do it one more time. And we're at looking for $1,200. $1,250. Heather, that's right, my friend. Now, Kim. You know, oh, 1275. Look at you, Miss Hill. Come on in for Sharita Hill, 1275. Who's going to take it away? Heather, where are you at? This looks like it's for you. And Kim, come on. Let's do it one more time because this is not just about what you get. It's making a difference. Heather, that's right. Jump it on up at 1350 with Heather now. Who's going to come in and take that away from Heather? Again, this sleeps up to eight people. So call your friends and let them know you're trying to take them away. Kim's coming in at 1500 and she's playing big. 1500 with Kim. I like the way you roll, friend. Who's going to come in and take it away from you, Kim? We have a few more minutes to go. So let's keep bidding. Hi, hi, hi. Let's go. Four days. Sleeps eight. You have the beach, you have a kayak. You can work from home and have a great time. If you love the outdoors, this is perfect for you because the redwoods are right there. If you're into golfing and you want to hit that, take it away. Heather's in at 1600. Who's going to take it from Heather? 1750 with Kim. Thank you, Kim, at 1750. This is also, again, kids are welcome, but most importantly, your dogs are welcome, okay? You don't have to leave them at home. They get to come with you and play in the beach. And I don't know, but it's super cute, especially if you have children and you have a dog. What's cuter than them both playing on the beach? Come on now. So we have Heather in the lead. Who's going to take it away? We have a little bit more of the program left to go. But look at this. Look at that outdoor. Look at the dining area. Look at the hot tub. Look at the living area right there. It's spacious. You can have formal dinners. The bedrooms, they're nice and spacious. Bring whatever you need, whether it's a PlayStation. The kayak is right there and see the water. It's going to get you out there having a great old time. Who's going to come in? We have Heather in the lead. Anyone else? We're going to say. Kim, I'm oh, sorry, Kim is in the lead. I'm sorry, Kim, I'm sorry, you're in the lead. Kim is in the lead at 1750. We're going to say going once. We're going to say going twice. We're going to say three times. 
And we have sold to Dr. Kim Rhodes. Thank you so much, Dr. Rhodes, once again, showing up for WCRC in the way that only you do. We appreciate you so much. And thank you so much for your generosity. And thank you to everyone who bid to support and have fun with us here. So let's take this over because we have an amazing, amazing introduction for you with more and more fundraising to come. Kathleen, back to you. Yeah, I guess you need that fan. That was super exciting. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. And ah, we are so thankful for all of the love and support you're sharing with us tonight. That was, that was so great. Congratulations to Dr. Kim Rhodes, the winner of that fabulous Russian River surprise. And thank you to all who continue to support us this inaugural Unite for Women with Cancer. As we shared earlier, our clients are at the heart of our mission. As a supporter myself, uh, I'm inspired by all the clients who've shared with us tonight. I know what a difference we were making for those served by WCRC. Our next client is yet another reason why I support the Women's Cancer Resource Center and participate in the Swim a Mile fundraising event every single year. Please let me introduce you to Phyllis. Thank you, Phyllis, for generously sharing your journey to WCRC with us tonight. I'm Phyllis Howard. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in April 19th of 2009. When I was over at UCSF in the library, there was a lot of cancer resources and there was a flyer about WCRC. They were sponsoring an event in October. And so I actually went and I met a young volunteer that was really nice. Uh, and I told her that the reason why I showed up was because I was starting chemotherapy the next day and I was afraid and I wanted to kind of talk to somebody who could walk me through it or could at least just kind of talk to me about it. I have two adult children and unfortunately they kind of took the my diagnosis a little bit hard so it was really hard for me to kind of talk to them. I felt like that was a journey that I was kind of alone. I also saw uh, there was a flyer that talked about art classes and all the things that the center actually had. Something that I, I, I decided that I wanted to look into. So, you know, I did sign up. And one of the things that I noticed is that as I kept coming, that even though it was a really dark time in my life, it showed on the paper that I tended to use a lot of dark colors at the time, especially when I was trying to get used to using different mediums but I noticed that as time went by the colors start to get lighter and brighter and happier looking it, it allowed me to be able to put on paper what I couldn't say out loud or what I wasn't ready or able to talk to people about how I was feeling somewhere along the way uh, I got introduced to the support group which is called the sister to sister the Sister to Sister group, it's an African-American support group of women who all have cancer. It gave me a good chance to be able to talk to other people. And it was hard to talk to people who were uncomfortable. And I had a, I had some issues with having to feel like I needed to babysit other people's feelings when I was the one that needed to be babysitting. Um, and I found that with the Sister to Sister group, we could, we could support each other and they understood that. You know, unfortunately for us within the African-American community, we don't talk about illness. We certainly don't talk about cancer. I'm still, even though I'm 12 years out, I, you know, it's still difficult, but this has been a, a really game changer for me. The Women's Cancer Resource Center was the difference between saving my life and getting me through a very dark period of my life. I want to thank you, Phyllis, for sharing with us tonight. You brought up so many important points. You talked about how sometimes it's not equitable, equitable in healthcare, how you need your peers, you need people like you, especially when you're dealing with something like cancer. And we're glad that WCRC's Sister to Sister program has been a place of healing and comfort for you, and that you benefited greatly from our expressive arts programs and other wellness offerings. We're proud of you and the journey, and we know your children are too. And we want to thank you for sharing and telling the magic of what it is to be a part of the WCRC family. So you all have been able to hear from another one of our amazing clients, who WRC has helped along her journey. 
They've served more than 2,000 people each year. 80% are low income and 67% are people of color and from the LGBTQIA plus community. WCRC works hard to meet each client where they're at, providing culturally sensitive support. And your financial gifts are the ones that make that possible. You ensure that those who need our services most have what they need to focus on their health to improve their chances of long-term survival. This is a quick reminder of not just what we do at WCRC, but of the important role that you play in that. I wanna thank you for what you've done here tonight and quickly give you an update of what we've done in terms of fundraising. We have Penny Huddis coming in with a gift of $2,500. And so we wanna thank you, Penny, for what you've done. Thank you for your gift. We still have more gifts to come. So at this time, we're gonna talk about the $500 level, $250, $100, and then ask you to give at a level that's meaningful to you also, even if I didn't call it out. But if you're inspired to give a random number, a year to celebrate someone that was important to you, a number that says that this year has been incredible and I want to give a gift for that amount, especially let's say 2020, you're just happy it's behind us, feel free to give $2,020 whatever it is that makes you feel good. But know that every single gift comes together to make a huge impact. Two people at $500 is a gift of $2,000 and it creates change. Most importantly though, it helps with sustainability. So now at $500, you can do this again through the text to give feature. Simply text UNITE for WCRC along with your desired donation amount and name to 41444. At $500, you can provide emergency financial assistance to someone who's facing hunger or homelessness, who may need assistance with their medical co-payments or supplements to help boost their immunity. So when you give at $500, I want you to think about the fact that you are providing someone who may be hungry and think about someone who may be facing homelessness while also battling cancer. Think about what it is that it looks like to be in their shoes. Just take a moment and say, is this something that I can create change for? Is this a level that I can support? Because we know that food heals. Food is literally the thing that helps our bodies get better. And WCRC and you make that possible. Now with a gift of $250, you can help us fund comprehensive volunteer training, enabling our volunteers to support our clients during their time of need. And we know how important it is to take care of our volunteers. We want them to feel prepared and empowered to go out there and celebrate and support our clients. We need that. And if you're not a volunteer, hey, sign up for the volunteer program, but also give a gift of $250 to help make that possible. Now, $100, let me tell you a little bit more about that. That funds WCRC's cooking club and nutrition workshops, allowing for clients to build their knowledge and boost their immunity through the healing power of nutritious food. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It's beyond the journey to continue to live a life where they strive for greatness, but this food fuels their body and it teaches them how to live a healthy and bountiful life. How to use food to be better and not to use food to help satiate those little cravings that we get sometimes. So think about the power of your dollars. Think about the fact that you're helping create equity in healthcare every time you give. Because we know that women that look like me don't always get the support that we need. But through your support, there's a place that cares and there's a place where they come in and they wrap their arms around them and they love them and they give them the support that they need. We know that WCRC is a place that doesn't just say they're doing work, they actually do the work. Now let's head on over and see what you all have done because I have a feeling that we're about to see some magic. So let's go and take a moment and celebrate what you've done. I haven't looked over here yet, but let's see. We have Debbie Hamelski coming in at a gift with a gift of $500. So thank you, Debbie. Ann Meyer and Joanne Judd coming in with 500. Darlene Demanicor, 
thank you. Michael Novello, thank you. Stanley Schulster and Catherine McElbreth, we thank you. The Jane Young family, we thank you. Gary, uh, Gary Holchlander, Gary, we're friends, right? Okay. Matt Swallen, Susan Bobolsky, thank you so much for your gifts of $500. You all are, are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, $250, we have Karen Bowen and Beth Gerstein. Dennis and Susan Hartlius, Faith Darling, Anai Sidhu, Karen and Mike Dreyfus, Linda Waite, Larry Charm, Marjorie and Vincent Conroy, Deborah Dorea coming in at 350. And that's right, don't forget, you can get creative. Nothing says you have to stick to these levels. Alyssa Friedman, in honor of Lynn Friedman, thank you. And Lynn will keep you in our memories. Anna Hackett, Mike Lasky, and Ann Brown, we thank you. Jay Norling, Thank you, Arnold Perkins, Cheyenne Reese, Christine Sanat. Thank you for your gifts at $250. You all are incredible. I wanna come back up to the $1,000 level really quick and give a quick thank you to Sharita Hall Event and also to Rose Barlow. Thank you so much for coming in with your gifts at the $1,000 level. You all are amazing. Now let's see, we still have more gifts coming in though. Now at $200, we have Cheryl Crowder. Thank you, Cheryl. Mayor Fenton coming in at 180. Again, get creative with those numbers. Giselle Pohan, Mel Chin, Lynn Daly, Melanie, Tur Mel Melanie Turbulon, thank you. Lois Lazar, thank you for your gift. $200, you all, thank you so much. At $100, Miriam Spillman, David and Jean Phil, Richard and Marsha Moling, Marilyn Lazaro, Megan Bernstein, Maureen Powers, Ruth Stroop, Bernard and Grace McGuire, Gloria Motley, Judith Small, Kathleen Bates, Cynthia Brantley Pierce coming in at $75. Thank you so much. We also want to give you all more. And at $50, we have Lucy Street, Iris Baum, Dolores Moorhead, and Evelyn Chain coming in, and they got creative with their gifts again. Do not feel obligated to stick to those levels that we came in. All we ask, think from abundance of the heart and think about the impact that you're making. I want to tell you all, thank you so much for being generous. Thank you for giving from the heart. Thank you all for coming in and saying we support WCRC. And I heard so many of you welcoming your friends as they came and joined you in your breakout rooms earlier. So thank you for spreading the word of WCRC. I just want to do another quick glance and make sure that I didn't miss anyone. Francis Hartwell has come in with another $500. Thank you so much, Francis. That is amazing. And we're all in that spirit, right? Keep giving whatever your heart says to do. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we also have Wendy Rosenthal coming in with a gift of $50. Thank you so much, Wendy. You all are amazing. Keep the gifts coming. I want to thank you, though, as they come in. Because of you, more than 2,000 people in the coming year will get the support they need while facing a cancer diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for making it possible for them to have a village. Thank you for having the opportunity, for taking the time to be here and say they deserve a village, that they deserve people who they can lean on. I wanna thank you for your time because that's one thing you can't get back and for choosing to spend it with us tonight. I wanna thank you for your talent which is sharing the word of WCRC with everyone within your reach and letting them know that the work they do here is real and it's lasting. And lastly, I wanna thank you for your treasures. You've given the greatest treasure within yourself. And I don't know if you know, but you've provided hope here tonight. Now let's see if Kathleen has run out of wigs, fingers crossed. So let's head back to you, Kathleen, and see what you're looking like over there right now. Thank you so much, EK. I, I think I'm down to the last one. Uh, I appreciate that so much. I, I mean, it's amazing, right? Over 69,000. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Wow, that is that is amazing. So what a wonderful group of supporters we have. Thank you so much. Yes, clearly another hair milestone, a lot of cowbell, uh, but more importantly, another moment that shines in your generosity. So thank you for supporting WCRC. As TK said, because of you, more than 2,000 people will be served by the Women's Cancer Resource Center this year. I have had a wonderful time being your host for this inaugural Unite for Women with Cancer. I've been moved deeply by our honorees and WCRC clients, Vanessa Rosalba and Phyllis 
sharing their stories. I mean, it's been wonderful, overwhelming, and, and just uh, such a joy. Thank you for being with us this evening. I would like to introduce Penny Hudis, our board chair, who will send us off tonight. Thank you so much. I'm Penny Hudis, as you know, and I'm really honored to be serving as chair of the board and chair of this event. I'm especially honored to have shared the stage, so to speak, with our inspiring clients and with our three fabulous, incredible honorees, Peggy, Cassandra, and Dr. Kim. I want to thank all of our event sponsors. I want to thank every single one of you donors. I want to thank our volunteers. And I hope you all know we couldn't do this work without each and every one of you. 35 years. Pretty amazing. I want to let you know as well that we are thinking about the future at WCRC. Our strategic plan has many wonderful initiatives. One of them, and I'm not going to give you details, is to start our inaugural annual educational symposium that will bring together experts in advanced cancer care for all of our clients and all of our community. And another is that we are really upping the game on fighting inequities in the healthcare support and services by expanding our partnerships with healthcare providers, other community agencies, and with our really supportive business community. I hope all of you enjoyed spending your evening with us. I certainly did. It's been really inspirational for me through my whole journey with WCRC and certainly here tonight. Thank you so, so much for everything you've given us. Our commitment is to give back to you. Have a very good evening. So glad you were here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.